Bye. Hey, it's me again, and I'm here to do my review of the Sega laptop that I previously did an unboxing. It was around two weeks ago, so I've had two weeks to test the computer, see if I liked it or not, and so we're going to go with the review. If you didn't see the unboxing video, underneath in the description, I left all the specifications about the laptop. So, if you didn't see that, you're, it's fine. I'll just go over the specs right now. So, it has a 15.6 FHD screen. It's also LED blacklit and a super clear glare screen. In I have it with it a NVIDIA GPU 635M. My RAM is 8 gigabytes. The hard drive is 750 gigabytes with 7,200 RPM. The computer also has a third generation i7 Intel processor, which is good. You know, according to the people at Exotic PC where I ordered the laptop from, they said that actually it's better to have an i7 in a laptop especially when gaming because it's a four core processor it gets your game going faster and so I was like alright that's what I'm getting there were newer models but it was still a good model but that's the one I chose to go with the exotic PC and exotic PC gives you really good deals I'm telling you this laptop started off originally had a PC without the customization at $735 and it ended up being at the end of my purchase around $935 yet it's still a really good computer so let's get into the review I'll do a close-up of the laptop show you everything that the laptop actually has and then after that I will go with my pros and cons of what I did and did not like about the computer and I'll let you know whether or not it's worth your money. So the laptop has a 15.6 HD screen. It's LED blacklit widescreen. It also has a super clear glare screen. Peter comes with a third generation i7 Intel processor, Nvidia GPU GeForce GT 635M. It is equipped with great battery life, great performance. It does have an HDMI plug-in as well as a VGA. And it is equipped with Thrust Studio Pro. So starting by looking at the left side of the computer, you have your charging plug-in right here. You have your VGA port as well as your HDMI port. So you can actually plug in two different things at once which will make it really really good. You have your ethernet port where you can access your internet if you're not using Wi-Fi. As well as on this side you also have two 3.0 USB ports. You have part of the fan which is very good. Something I, I really like about this computer is, I'm sorry, I don't actually know what this is, but what I can tell you about right here is actually if you were to have an SD card for your camera or so, that's where you would plug it in right there. That's what I really like about this computer because I do do my YouTube videos and I use my SD card and I have, I have accessibility to plug it in right there. Let's check the other side of the computer now. Okay, so on the right side of the computer, you have your DVD, and it is not Blu-ray accessible. You can only watch standard DVDs on here, but that's fine. Because so, if we continue going, we have another USB drive, and I do not believe that this one is a 3.0. I think it's a 2.0. One headphone jack and one microphone jack on the left side and it's good because since you have the USB port right here if you are using a microphone that needs the USB you got it right there so everything is easy and access and you don't have to worry about stretching your wire to the other side the back of the computer is pretty simple it has a me metallic design 
on it with the company's name, Sager. And I will say that so far my experience with the company is actually really good. They did tweet me once a week after I got my computer and asked how it was going. See, there is nothing on the computer that you have to worry about in the back. There is no plugins at all. Okay, so at the bottom of the computer, you do have where you can remove your battery in case you do need to get a new battery, which is really good. You have your fan ventilations here. You have space for your vents there, there. Where the fan is actually located, I cannot tell you for sure. But the fact that there's plenty of little vents for the computer to breathe is good. What I can say, however, about the computer is it will get hot if it is on a plain surface. These little posts that you have at the corner are meant to elevate your computer so it won't get hot. That will not do it. You actually need to have something else underneath the laptop when you're using it if you don't want it to get hot. If it's just sitting on the desk, it will get hot. That is something that I've experienced. So that's a heads up for you. Alright, so now let's continue on with the video and I'll tell you about the pros and cons, what I did and did not like about the laptop. Alright, so here we are. The pros and cons about this system. Okay, so as I showed you in the review of the computer, it, it has a very, very nice screen. I could play Minecraft and it will look fine. My computer won't freeze, it won't lag up and it doesn't have to do with just the screen but you know that has to do a lot with the processor and the GPU but the image itself that comes out it's just really pretty and for the money and it's look that nice it is good and I'm very pleased with Sager for that so thank you Sager another positive thing about this even though I did mention that you may experience your laptop overheating but the good thing about the fan itself is that it is fairly quiet you won't really hear it unless you're doing some crazy project and you have 101 windows open but other than that the fan it's quiet you don't notice it at all it doesn't interrupt your gameplay if you were to be doing let's say a live commentary using this computer you wouldn't have to worry about that fan yes you know you might still want to get a noise cancellation for the microphone for other sounds but this fan that comes with the computer is not going to be loud to that extreme it's actually very quiet and that's something that I really did like about the fan itself another thing I did like was the HDMI and VGA port you know you get two choices, two ways to set up devices. You, you can set up even maybe even more than one device. And the and HDMI, yes, it is good. But what I do have is to say that there is a con about that. And the con is the fact that you cannot choose what goes what people see on your TV and what they don't see on the TV. So if you were doing a demonstration using your TV and your laptop with this, I don't know if it was either with the TV or maybe it's a software that I have to download, but without downloading any software, if you were to plug an HDMI wire into your computer and plug it into the TV, you're going to see the whole entire thing on, on the computer. And the last thing I really liked about the computer was the mouse that's installed into the computer already. You, it's kind of like if you were to be using a Mac computer, as in you can take your fingers, zoom into the screen, zoom out, use two fingers, scroll down. It makes it way much more easier. However, that's where we get into the cons. Because my first con, and one of my only one out of two cons about this computer, is the mouse. The mouse is not set, as you see, here's the computer. The mouse is right here. It's actually not centered in the middle of the laptop like I would have liked it to be and since it's not centered in the middle it actually makes it harder for you to write because if you're writing mid-sentence because this is what happens to me personally the mouse is extremely sensitive so if you are writing and your bottom of your palm happens just to touch it 
it will move your place in your writing. The last thing that I'm having a problem with with this computer is I'm not sure if it's just my computer. Hopefully it is, because if not, it's kind of a big issue. But lately, for the past couple of days now, the computer tends to just switch times. It'll go maybe five hours back and it will stay like that even after I reset my computer. So it's not like it's daylight saving times. It's just it's changing its time all by itself. So that is an issue. It might just be a problem with my computer. Hopefully it is and it's not a, com a problem with the company's computers. I can say is if you are planning on purchasing a Sega computer, specifically this one, then you will get exactly what you paid for with your money. Especially if you customize it and add all this other kind of stuff on it, you will not be displeased. If you plan on ordering from Exotic PC, you will surely get fast service. They email you every step of the way. They let you know when they received your order. They let you know when they're starting to actually build your computer. They let you know when they're shipping it. So throughout the whole process it's amazing and you get it and you will be satisfied I promise you that thanks for watching my video and see you guys next time bye